Hello friends, welcome back to Laravel tutorial. I already published the Laravel previous version tutorial and uh, I already published the new features what actually appear in Laravel 11 and this is the first video and uh, as a beginner I will start from very beginning so I will start from very scratch I will create a new application I will install and uh, then step by step we will learn all the things okay so in this video actually we will uh, install the Laravel 11 okay so first of all if you want to uh, install Laravel 11 you need to uh, install your PHP so you can install WAMP, XAMPP, LAMP any option so for uh, Linux based you can use the LAMP for Windows you can install XAMPP or WAMP so I already installed my WAMP server so you can check my WAMP is running for Laravel 11 you should have at least PHP version is PHP uh, 8.2 so if you want to check PHP version you can simply write PHP minus P and you can check my PHP version is upgraded as per Laravel 11 so I am so I am using PHP 8.2 and you should have installed the composer okay so these are the two things we need to install to use Laravel 11 okay so if you have installed a composer you can see this is the composer and you can see the person okay so now let's install how we can install this the first thing is why we use laravel okay so laravel is a strong mvc php framework okay there are a variety of tools and frameworks available to you when building a web application first and very lightweight php framework and it is completely decorated decorated means uh, organized way you will get all the things you need and there are lots of packages lots of supports and the laravel community is very large so that you, that you can get help from the internet and also you can create a small to very large application also okay so this is the reason why we need uh, laravel okay so let's install a uh, laravel application first so we already installed a composer so using composer we will install application so simply write uh, composer and the command is create C R E A T create project and next you to write laravel slash laravel and then whatever you can write means that will be your application name so here you can write um, my block application okay so simply write block so i am just going to name the application okay so blog or um first project okay no problem so my application name will be the first project so if you install this or if you enter this then it will create a directory into your www folder so i am using the wamp so this is the path i am installing so when you install just make sure that you are using your correct server path okay so just enter this so it may take some time so it will uh, just create a whole scaffolding of your application okay so let's install this so it's installing laravel 11.1.4 okay so it's installing So you can see there are lots of package are installing and uh, actually by default we are getting this means you can see uh, there are lots of support you will get from that package and there is a particular purpose for so lots of things are installing so it's taking some times as per your internet connection speed it will uh, vary okay so no problem don't worry about that things it will install if you have a correct configuration means if you have php 8.2 or more uh, is installed and you have composer installed in your system okay so laravel installed uh, successfully so my comment was composer create project laravel slash laravel slash first project okay 
so if you check into our directory so just go into that so here you can see in the www folder we are getting the first project okay so let's open that so just go cd first project so we can understand so here you can see your application okay so if you just go into the code dot so i am using visual studio code for development purpose so here uh, to open you can uh, directly run this command code space dot okay so these are the application and these actually installed there are lots of files and folder is installed so you can see the app boost app confi database and public resources there are lots of folder and inside that folder there are also there is a folders and some files so lots of things installed so we need to learn about that thing so what is the purpose of that folder and directives and and the files okay so i will discuss about that things in our next video so let's run this application first so i install that application and let's run first so to run this we need to serve so simply write php artisan serve and you can see a server running on http 127.0.0.1 so these are the path here you can find your application is running so simply write this so it's very easy to install uh, the laravel application and one thing here you can see the dashboard which are coming by default so here you will get the laracast is the community you will get help from that things so these are the website so if you are a beginner or experience whatever so you can get help from that uh, site also you will get the news from laravel so these are the laravel develop things or you can say the developer portal or guide portal there is a community things okay so you will get help from that things right and for documentation laravel documentation is uh, great so you can use the documentation so doc 11.1.x so these are the step installation steps so you will get all the comments so i just use this comment for installation and all the things you will get in detail here okay so application is running next day we are going to discuss about uh, laravel folder structures okay so what are the purpose of these folders and files we'll discuss on in detail okay so thanks for watching this video and still if you have any queries about this video you can comment me okay thanks for watching this video have a good day bye